Hello. Hi. I'll, I'll do your intro. Oh. Hi. Thank you. How's Hello. it going? We're we're fine. We're in the second day. This is our second day into the Victoria, BC. They said Victoria where? Victoria, British Columbia. Right. Canada. Give you a GPS address next. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Canada. It's in the Vancouver Island. Yeah. So if if this is Vancouver, you go like the the boat and go choo choo, and then there is the Victoria right there. It's more of a train type sound, but the boat does go hoo hoo at Do you five go, in the like, morning. Boat goes hoo hoo. It's choo choo. Same thing. I don't know. Hoo hoo. Anyways, do you mind the whole thing? Oh, it's right. Today's the last it's video. It's the final beer. Today's the last video of 2014. Uh, Phil's Snow Cave. We actually went to Phil's today. Phil's we did. Brewery. I was very surprised how small they were. It was, well, I mean, I assume I, I they have, like, large facilities in the back, but the storefront was quite small. I, I expected, um, like, the Molson. Molson? Molson. Oh, my Mol God. You thought it was going to be that big? Like, you know, the one, like, by the, the, the street? By the Broad Street yeah, Bridge. The, oh, the my distillery, God. The distillery. Well, it's distillery. a brewery. It's just, like, it's, like, so big. It's, like, a tower just, like, and I'm just, like, that's, I, I thought that's, like, that's how all the brewery looked like. Where Phil's, it was just, like, like, it was just, like, Small. oh, that's cool. Yeah. But also, what's cool about the Phil's was that you can bring your moonshine bottle thing that your they growler. sell. And uh, they have little tabs. And they fill whatever beer that they have on the tab uh, for $10. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's for two liters. It's What's a pretty that good deal. in a gallon? Two liters is like two thirds of a gallon, I think. And then it's just $10, and you just like fill it up. Many people brought two. Yeah, I, well, I think Some as, many, as many as you want filled up. Right. right? You two just bring or back four, your glass bottles. They just like fill it up, and uh, like, here you go. I'm like, why don't we have that in Vancouver? And we do. Apparently but we do. it's far away from us. Very far. Anyway. Yes. Today's beer is the barrel-aged Belgian Black IPA Puzzler. Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry this Christmas. Is our, right now, when we're filming this, this is Christmas Eve. That's correct. So we are kind of like looking towards the Christmas day. You know, Kate, in Vancouver, Yeah. maybe this isn't true. But except for Hawaii, we get the latest Christmas on Earth. Ooh. Which means we get to experience it last, but long, well, not longest, but we have, it leaves us at the last moment. We're the youngling of the Christmas day. Sort of, yeah. We're like the, the youngling of the siblings that are opening like, the boxes. By the, so time, the old, oldest will be just like, get away, my prison! That is not how it works, because the oldest child just sleeps in until like 10. And no, it's like, I don't want to deal with this bullshit. My sister said, go away. I'm opening well, all the presents. Well, she's different. <laughs> she's, she's special. <laughs> So we are doing Barrel Age, once again, uh, Belgian Black IPA. Mm. The story is, it's Christmas Eve and we couldn't think of a better brew to cap off the fun than this Puzzler Barrel Age Belgian Black IPA. Mm, very interesting. Originally pieced together in the fall of 2012 as a collaboration with our friends at Great Lakes Brew Brewing. This puzzle was too good to keep on the shelf. Midnight roasted mob, adventurous Belgian yeast, and American hops fit together as a rich, deep bodied beer full of roasted and hoppy flavor. Wow. Wow. It smells fantastic. For the first time ever, we barreled aged the brew, rounding out the roasted hoppy flavors with subtle sweetness. Though the flavor is wonderful, complex, the last move is simple. Remove the cap to. Solve. <laughs> <laughs> a dramatic pause at the final moment. Puzzler is best enjoyed at cellar temperature 10 Celsius. Um, availability. Ooh. It's exclusive to the snow case. Barrel aged. <laughs> Puzzler occasionally makes an appearance as 650 milliliter seasonal bomber, but it has never been barrel aged before. So this exactly. is like new. Uh, thanks to everyone for joining us on this adventure. Oh. But then, like, they adventure. I don't know. I don't know why they put the dash in there. Advent. Oh, Your. adventure. Advent I, dash U-R-E. I see. We hope you enjoy the ride. Merry Christmas to to all and to all a good po point. And then there's a star, star, star. If 
for some strange reason you did not receive this beer, it doesn't mean you are on our naughty list. Please email us and let us know what you pulled out today. We'll arrange a special gift drop for the new year. I did see some people. Uh, I saw the one guy, he tweeted Phillips and he was like, what the fuck, I got Krypton like four days in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, oh, that's not supposed to happen. Krypton? Yeah, you remember the Krypton beer that you hated? Oh, that the uh, the Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. <laughs> It's a periodic table, but it's breaking bad to us. Anyway, cheers. Smell it. Smells fantastic. Wow. We were very tempted when we were in the Phillips Brewery today. They had a, a gift set that was uh, a bomber, so 650 milliliters right. of twisted oak, the scotch aged, uh, or tw- uh, barrel aged scotch ale, mm-hmm. plus a couple of actual tasting glasses so we don't have to use the Dragon Quest slime cup to taste everything. What's wrong with that? It might even actually have the appropriate structure for it, but it was it was a little tempting. We didn't get it though. It was, our arms were full. Yeah, it was really way too heavy, <laughs> and uh, it was six hundred fifty milliliter too. So if it was smaller, maybe, but it was big, and also two glasses. So we actually wanted to buy it as a gift. Yeah. But it's just kind of like it's too much. A little impractical for us. Yeah. A little too much for anyway, me to carry it. The final beer of the snowcase, Kate. Oh yeah. Cheers. Finale. Mmm. Wow. That's tasty. That's excellent. That's tasty. There's um a, a lot of the vanilla that we tasted in the the twisted oak. Um a little bit of hoppiness for sure, but it doesn't but come hoppy, across as like it's like cream hop. It's not like hop, where like every hop that I had was just like hop, and then the amnesia was like hop, hop, and just like hop was just so bold and just like you cannot not taste hop basically. It, it is remarkable that this only has water, barley, hops, and yeast in it because it tastes very distinct. A lot of the Phillips beers, are, especially the hoppy ones, have been kind of variations on a theme. You're like, this one's a little hoppy, this one's not as hoppy, this one's extremely hoppy, this one is like. It has hops as a note, but there's a very, very strong, like, woody vanilla yeah. taste to it. Like, a really, really strong vanilla taste. But, um, the hop, it's actually very, I don't know how you taste, it's just, yeah, it's there. It's not, it's there, but it's not, like, hop, bold letter right in your face, and just like, we're hop. Because Amnesiac is just like, two hop, bolded, capitalization, and just like, hop, hop. Look, I don't know the the actual like mechanisms by which it works, but it feels like instead of like all those other Phillips beers, it's like the note is hops and you finish on hops. Mm-hmm. This is like you drink it, you get a little sweetness, then you get the hops, and then it kind of finishes on that vanilla taste that is so strong it's almost artificial. I don't feel I don't feel that strong of vanilla oh, I, I artificial it. or of other than it's not vanilla, art- but there's a strong something here. What does it say? Vanilla though. Mmm. Vanilla hey. bourbon. Bourbon. It's not French. It's more like. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is French, but. but it's not bourbon. No, in in North America we say bourbon, <laughs> not bourbon. In bourbon. French. In French is it bourbon? I don't know. Uh, honestly. Wash your band. Confirm this. I don't please. know. If, I don't know if bourbon. I, my assumption is that bourbon is American, actually. Oh, is it? I, I believe it so. I thought bourbon was American, but then oh. I got I started to second guess myself because there's Bourbon Street in Louisiana, in, in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Mm. But that's a very common like French historical port, basically. So I don't know, but Bobon. we I have never heard Bourbon. I've heard Bobon. bourbon a lot. Let me get a bourbon. All right, my French friends. Confirm me if maybe I'm too French French. You you shouldn't <laughs> question my palate when it comes to vanilla, because I have gone on record as saying I love vanilla ice cream. The first hard alcohol I ever purchased was a uh, vanilla vodka, from Absolute when I was that nineteen. That sounds disgusting. It was really bad. It took me like a month to finish it. Oh. No. It was not tasty, but yeah, the the vanilla note for me is really strong. But it's I like it because instead of the hops. You're like, there's hops in there, but not it's defined by hops. Right. Which a lot of the Phillips beers are like, this is hops. This right. is more like hops show up, and then the vanilla says, don't worry about them. They'll stick around, but like, come with I me. I am the main. Yeah. I'm main not sure if I course. prefer that, but it is, it's different. I would love to have this with seafood. I think it will go with the saltiness of the seafood. 
Just imagine this with like a saltiness of like crabs or lobsters. It's just it will go so well. Oh my, oh my mouth is more watering. I can almost taste like a little. I can see what you're saying with the seafood. I almost I can taste a little clarified butter right now. Yeah. Mm. My mouth was watering when I was just like describing lobster and crab. I'm just well, like. <laughs> Nom, 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 nom. I, I will say that as as for the barrel aged beers, um, I don't really taste the barrel aged as much I as get, the. I get so much like vanilla yeah, and hard alcohol out of this, but the I, vanilla comes from the the hard alcohol. Right, I think um, more if you want the barrel aged, like you want like I can't really taste it because I'm almost, I'm not I'm, I'm a noob, I'm not a you know like a professional beer taste person. I think. Um, the, the tree. Twisted oak. Twisted oak. Go for the twisted oak. I, I was going to say exactly the same thing. I think uh, for barrel aged, I think the twisted oak is a little bit nicer. Uh, a little bit heavier on the malt. It's kinda, the bottle's really chilly. It is cold. I'm resting it on my, my foot right now. <laughs> um, I I think the, the twisted oak, a little bit more of the whiskey comes through, a little bit more of the scotch, I guess. And uh, like, like less vanilla, more like caramel and malt. This is very heavy on the vanilla, but I like it. And it's it's very distinctive, and it's not distinctive in a bad way like the ginger beer oh. may, perhaps was, but uh, it was distinctive. Let me tell you what. I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give this a three on its taste, out of five, but a four on like, should you try it, like a thumbs up on should you try it because it's very unique. Uh, I feel like if if I had a couple of them, I might start to get sick of the overwhelming vanilla taste. Mm-hmm. I would prefer a beer that's maybe, a, a, honestly, a little milder, at least in that regard. But uh, it's it's a nice beer. I would definitely, if you if you gave this to somebody, they're probably not gonna have anything like it ever again. Right. I, I can see I can see where he's coming from. A strong vanilla. Um, personally, I never really had vanilla flavored mm. alcohol that I cannot go like, oh, this is disgusting. I just like, oh, I can see that strong scent and the taste does taste like vanilla um, but it doesn't it's not so strong enough that it actually kind of puts me off I guess right. it's just like it's just a very good a friend to the hop that's inside of this beer I think they go very well together I would give um, four red eye Rika because he's been <laughs> missing us for, we we actually got here twenty four hours ago. Yeah, it's been about twenty four hours. Actually, twenty four hours ago. Yeah. So we haven't seen our cats for twenty four hours ago. It's hard. And <laughs> maybe we could really sad. And out of uh, five Tomo stealing Ruka's vitamin snack treat, I don't know. Tomo, he takes advantage of it because he doesn't feel as much as Ruka feels. <laughs> so he, when Ruka's sad and he won't eat his treats, Tomo's like, all right, this is my lucky day. Right, just like, oh, you're not finishing that. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll take it for you. for you. And then Ruka's like, I'm sad. Where, where's <laughs> Kate and Ryan? And Tomo's like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> who are Kate and Ryan? Yeah, basically. it's just like, <laughs> just, oh, the, the feeders, the human being who feed us. The feeders. The feeders. I'm sad that the snow case is over, but yeah. I'm I'm excited for next year. I wonder, uh, I wonder if we'll get variety next year. I hope we get like I would be happy with the snow case next year if it had like ten ten beers that were not in this year's snow case. Mm. There are a couple of beers from Phillips that were not that yeah. didn't show up. Bottle Rocket never Coffin showed up. Coffin Kicker. Uh, Coffin Kicker. Never Phoenix, heard of it. Phoenix never showed up. Um, Kaleidoscope, which is another IPA that they do. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm not surprised necessarily. I'm I, I'm a little surprised by the variety that they're able to offer. Mm. To be honest with you, I think maybe if like a bunch of stuff doesn't sell, they just kind of throw it in the cellar and they say, you know, we'll, we'll see if the people yeah, react to it. We'll I make guess. like 500 snow cases because we got 500 of these left over or something. But I would I would totally do the snow case again next year. Oh, definitely. This, was, this is a lot of fun. It's it's a lot of fun. Every day I'm just kind of surprised that I did it. Like I basically drank one bottle of beer mm. every day. That's that's remarkable. That's remarkable. I, you know, usually I only drink maybe weekend ish. You know, to maybe like, like one or two beers a week. Yeah, basically. yeah. To celebrate like Friday and that's it. But every day you just kind of like 
open it up and see what it is. And just like, ooh, that's that's weird. Like, ooh, I don't like it. Ooh, I don't like it. <laughs> and then you drink it, and you're just like, this is the best beer I ever tasted. I mean, like within the snow case, I found my beer. Not, I'm not saying this is the best beer, like overall, because some people not maybe not like Shadow Weizen, mm. but for me, Shadow Weizen is the best beer I've ever tasted in my life. But if you don't like the malt flavor, maybe you prefer hop, then you would not say that's my like that isn't the best mm. beer. But for me. That was the best beer, and I would have never tasted it if I did not get a snow case. It's very true, and you know this is the first time in my life I think I've ever really been forced to think critically about what I actually enjoy, and I think I learned a lot actually, uh, which is nice. You know, I've I've been drinking beer for nearly a decade, I guess at this point, and now I uh, what no well, like for eight, eight for years. like seven years seven eight years yeah yeah. Legally for seven years. Yeah. Yeah, but um, it's it's been nice to kind of qualify what I actually like about. I'm holding beer. it as if I'm like selling. Like, Call now, one eight eight. Well, you know, it's well, just cold. You mentioned the shuttle bison. When we went to Phillips today, it was like they had set up the cooler just for us. Yeah. They had five. This is it. Like none left. <laughs> That's this it. This is the last the day last they're open. In, in the world. They had five Schottelweizens. And so a bottle, like, the small, like this. Yeah, and then two, or they had three Black Jackals in the 650 milliliter size. And I, like, I took one, and then when I went back in, like, five minutes, there was only one left, and I'm like, I'm going to get the other one. <laughs> so we, we were, like, the ultimate assholes. We, yeah, we, we came just, in we from out of, it out. came in from out of town, and they right. were like, I'll take all the all Like, the everyone who were in the store, they weren't even picking up the bottled beer. They were actually had those... Yeah, they had the growlers. Moonshine bottle... And then like I'll take you know like one one tab of that and like one tab of this and then people who brought four of them they're just like big jugs and it's just like oh that's forty dollars. Kid, it's crazy over here. The people behind us in line, we had the glass bottles. Right. And I felt like such a tourist. There was like a lady <laughs> behind us in line. And she had two moonshine bottles. Right. And a baby strapped into like the front of her chest, but she was like it was. I felt like I was not. You not gotta drink that beer, man. The not like, out, of, not, out of me. Not like I was uncomfortable because they were drinking, but I was like, "You should, you should leave your baby in the car or something like that." No, and that's not like <laughs> fair. But people were like, "A baby, cool." Our cashier was drinking a beer yeah. while he was ringing us in. What kind of crazy town is it out of here? It's so chill. I thought like there were so many people. They were all old, right? They're not old, saying they're all like sixty years old, but they obviously looked older than 19 years old which is the legal mm. age of drinking in Canada yeah and when people saw me which was the only Asian person in the whole store and they were actually I felt it they all looked at me they're just like like I didn't hear anyone saying she but I can hear? I can hear their thoughts like I think she's 16 years old I don't think she's legally, like, allowed to drink I think this. you could have walked up and given them, like, your student price club card. And they would have <laughs> been like, whatever, I'm, dog. I'm like, you know, people actually asked, many people asked who, like, my age is. I am soon to be 23 years old. That's actually, true. less than a month away. Yeah. Maybe, like, three or two weeks away. Soon. from From being a 20 three years old lady don't look at me you know your age <laughs> but you know i look so young that every time i get id checked i'm not blaming them but i just thought when people looked at me they're just like like there's a teenager well, in the store is when, this okay when we go to like a restaurant and they're like can we take some drink orders uh she'll order and I'll order and he'll the waiter will be like I need to see some ID yeah. and then Kate pulls her out, hers out and just to be not awkward I'll pull mine out and then they'll look at Kate and be like <laughs> and then is, they, is they, this the same person that like, I'm looking at? they pick up mine and they're like eh, yeah just right, like alright I didn't to see yours yeah I, I watch all the Isaac episodes I know who you are <laughs> I know who you are no person under the age of 19 is bald and references the thong song by Cisco that much. It's just not. Is accurate. that true, actually? The thong song came out in 1999. It was actually the the All number right. one song, the first time Billboard had their number one in the year 2000, in in early January, I believe. Even though people think it's a summer anthem, but um, 
if you turn 19 this year, yeah. you're born in 1995. Right. That means you're like fucking four when the thong song came out. You could still dance to it. Like barely. You, could, <laughs> you know how babies what is that? dance. That's how babies no, dance babies and how I dance. Yo, no. Babies can dance. No, babies, they do like a. Well, four, you're in like almost kindergarten. I don't kindergarten know. Kindergarten or. I actually do not know how like people evolve. Is that. Well, Most like, evolve. Don't, honestly. Not evolve, but like people. If we evolve from <laughs> babies. Why are there still babies? <laughs> Not evolved. That's all I'm saying. Like, the, the steps of baby right. do stuff. Yeah. So, like, when when my sister, my older sister, her firstborn, I'm right. just like, oh, the firstborn is almost, like, two and a half years old. Yeah, and almost then, three now. Right. And then, like, can she say anything? And yes. Ryan's like, yeah. she can communicate. <laughs> no. You usually, <laughs> so your your sister's baby is almost three. Right. Usually by like five or four or five, they're starting to learn how to read. Wow. So that 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 child that can. That blows the, my mind. The baby spoke when we when it was here last year. It was two. No. It didn't. She, it didn't speak. Was, it didn't say like, hello. Oh, nice yeah, to meet yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But it was like blah 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 rice. Yeah. Blah yeah. oh, blah 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 bottle. Right. Like it was getting. Yeah, there. I didn't understand her That's at all. That's what counts as speak. But, you know, when you say like a baby can walk, it's not like it goes like dong dong dong, and then it just starts running. Right. Like it takes a couple years to get to the point where it can do. I don't do... understand how baby works, <laughs> yeah. man. You think I'm just like oh shit? But you know, when my sister. Like the baby will go like ar actually it sounds like that. It's like ar 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 and your sister then knows. my mom well not my mom, my sister, who's the mother of the child, would say, Oh, she says she wants the orange, mm. not the pineapple. I'm like, excuse me? All I heard was wah, 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 wah. Oh, this is The baby says she disagrees with Senator McCain's policies <laughs> on immigration, but she respects his right to feel that way. It's and it's just crazy. So I don't know how it got to the baby talk. The baby resigns the rest of its filibuster time to the rest of the caucus. It's it's crazy though. I, you know, I it doesn't matter how long this video goes because apparently our hotel's internet is better than our I kinda like home this. internet. This is nice. We should just this should be our new job is just it's, recording these videos. Are we funny enough for this? Home internet. Our it's actually better than our like resident internet. So. That's crazy. We, we cow. speed tested it, and yeah. it speed tested at about seventy <laughs> megabits per second download. Which is worse, worse. A little Which worse, worse, but it doesn't matter. Right. And then a hundred megabits per second upload speed, and then people on Twitter were like, "Well, if you test it in like a big location, it's not."